Pea protein is made of dried yellow field peas, a fibrous legume that contains high amounts of all the essential amino acids except for methionine. As a protein source, pea protein was long overlooked, but with vegan and vegetarian diets gaining in popularity, plant-based protein powders are becoming more widespread and popular. Because it is so high in branched-chain amino acids, pea protein is a good vegan alternative to whey protein. But what does pea protein actually do? Your body requires more protein when you want to build muscle, whereas the general recommended protein intake for the average adult is anywhere from 0.4 to 0.5 grams per pound of body weight, someone looking to build muscle at the optimal rate should consume about double that. While you can theoretically get all your necessary protein from whole food sources, consuming enough protein that way can be tricky, especially when you don't have time to prepare high protein meals all day. That is why most athletes and bodybuilders use protein powders in addition to a balanced diet. So if you're crunched for time, a good protein powder can really make your life easier. Now let's talk about the benefits of pea protein. First of all, and this is the reason most people choose it, it's vegan. This will be the most important reason for most people, because in general pea protein is among the best vegan protein powders you can get. So if you want a plant-based protein supplement, definitely try pea protein. You also get a high quality protein. In one study, two test groups performed resistance training for 12 weeks. The first group supplemented 50 grams of pea protein daily, and the second group supplemented 50 grams of whey protein daily. At the end of the study, both groups experienced similar increases in muscle growth and thickness. This is one of the reasons many people say pea protein is the plant-based whey protein. You also get moderate digestion. Whereas whey is a fast digesting protein and casein is a slow digesting protein, pea protein falls somewhere in the middle. This means pea protein will not only boost protein synthesis, but also prevent muscle protein breakdown. And lastly, it's hypoallergenic. This means pea protein is relatively unlikely to cause any allergic reaction. Depending on the brand, there are also very few additives and artificial ingredients which is good if you're looking for something very close to a whole food source. Since it is also not made from milk, it's free of lactose and a great option for those who are lactose intolerant. Okay, now that you know about the pros of pea protein powder, how should you take it? Your daily dose of protein supplements will depend on how much total protein you need to consume every day. Like I mentioned earlier, 0.8 to 1 gram per pound of body weight works as a good rule of thumb. But keep in mind that the majority of your diet should always be based around whole foods, which applies not only to protein but all macronutrients. So try to build your diet around quality protein sources and use protein powder only as a supplement and not as a substitute. Depending on your lifestyle, required protein intake and willingness to cook I suggest you get around a third to maximum a half of your protein from protein shakes. And lastly, are there any side effects associated with pea protein? In general, pea protein is very safe. There are no studies showing that protein supplementation or higher protein intakes in general can lead to kidney damage or bone loss if you are a healthy adult. People with existing kidney problems should talk to their doctor first, but anyone else shouldn't worry about side effects.